Hello and welcome to another how-to video from Burstech. In this video we'll be showing you how to install and configure BT Web Filter for ISA on an ISA 2006 32-bit server. And the first thing you want to do in when you're getting ready to install the Web Filter for ISA is make sure that in your ISA firewall rules that you have the Web, fil uh, web Filter access rule that handles both HTTP and HTTPS protocols. You're going to want to set this to all authenticated users so that um, unauthenticated users will not be able to get a free ride through the ISA server. Once you have that set, go ahead and extract the downloadable file and run the setup.exe. Go ahead and click next to the install shield wizard. Go ahead and read through the end user license agreement and select the uh, I accept license. The default path you can change that if you would like to. Go ahead and click Next. We're going to do, go ahead and do a complete install. And we're going to enable our automatic URL control list update. We recommend doing this for every day, but that's entirely up to you. Click Next. And click Install. OK, and our product is finished. So we'll go ahead and click the Finish button. It is going to prompt us for a reboot. So we'll go ahead and reboot the server. And when it comes back online, we'll go get into configuring web filter. At this point, our server has been restarted and the application is installed. So we can just go to the start button, go to all programs, burst technology, and BT web filter management. We get a little warning box saying that uh, your trial period for BT web filter expires in 30 days. And if you do not have a license, um, you'll have 30 days to evaluate. Just go ahead and click OK. And this will bring us into the web filter management console. Now, web the web filter for ISA differs slightly from standalone in that it is not a proxy on itself. It, it's just a filter. And so there's only two steps that we're going to have to do. We're going to have to configure how we're going to identify the users, and then we're just going to set up our custom access policy. So just like before, under access rules, we'll go ahead and register our domain. In this case, we'll click OK. And then we can just go ahead and click OK at this window as well. So our domain is registered now. And if we go click on the custom access policies, we'll see our default custom access policy is there again. So we can use this policy, which is a restriction policy type, and denies several legal liability categories. And then you just go to the Apply To tab, select Add Groups, and type in the group that you want it to apply to. Go ahead and click the exemptions and add any exempted individuals or groups that you want. Click OK, and WebFilter is now up and running and configured. This concludes this video on installing and configuring BT WebFilter for ISA. We hope you have found this video tutorial helpful and encourage any feedback you may have that will help us continue providing quality training videos. From all of us here at Burstech, thank you.